Hey y'all, hey, Manta here, and my itsy bag has arrived. Oop, wrong side. So let's go ahead and open this thing. This will be officially my last ipsy bag. I was going to cancel last month, and I realized I had enough points to redeem for one more thing. So I did, and you have to, it gets sent to you with your ipsy. So this is officially now my last ipsy bag. So let's cross our fingers. It's a good one, and see what uh, comes of it. So let me show you the product that I've redeemed points for first. It is from Hakari, which is a cruelty-free brand, and it is a blush in the color Tango. So here is the color, a really pretty coral, and let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Oh, that's really pretty. So there's the color swatched, and I'm really happy that I had the option to redeem for a product that was indeed cruelty free and is a lovely beautiful color so excited about that. Now let's get to the Ipsy bag itself. Here's the card that comes with this month and it looks like the theme is swimming into beauty. This is the bag. It is horrendous. It feels so cheap. Like this back part, it honestly feels like I could rip it apart. You know, this bag's so fucking ugly. I'm going to try and rip it apart. This bag feels like I'm just going to empty everything out of it. Like, it will rip, like, crazy easy. Okay, well, maybe it won't. But it feels like it will. I don't know. And it smells really strange. It smells like cheap plastic and cucumbers. Is that weird? Yeah, so it's just this horrendous, ugly as fuck black bag that has Ipsy imprinted all over it. Um, just ugly as sin. So, ugh, that thing's horrendous. But, let's take a look at what products came. So, first thing is the Smashbox Photo Ready Foundation Primer. Non oil, or um, oil free rather. So I've tried this before and it's a decent enough primer. Um, I'm happy to try it again. I'm all out of primer currently, so um, that's why I've switched from like actual foundation over to uh, tinted moisturizer. That and it's just so much easier to throw in a tinted moisturizer in the summer. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I have that, and I'll be using that again once I'm using a when, well, whenever I decide to use actual foundation over tinted moisturizer. So yeah, love that. Good sample. Then we have the Lipitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain from JCap Beauty. Ugh, there's like a gnat flying around and driving me crazy. Anyway, let's see, what color is this? Bead? 15 bead? Maybe that's the color? I don't know. Let's bust this out and swatch it too. So, it's just a very flat toe foot, which is not my preference. But the consistency itself kind of reminds me of the Manicadar lip primer, lip stain kind of things. So I'm, I really liked that consistency, so I'll probably like this consistency, and it is a beautiful color. It is heavily scented, of like a sweet mint scent. So if you don't like scents or sweet mint scents, then you're probably going to not want to put this over you because it is, or over your lips rather, because it's strongly scented. But it is a beautiful color and I've liked other products with this same consistency, so I'm going to give it a try, but so far I'm going to put this in the good category. And I don't know whether either of those brands are cruelty free. I think Smashbox is cruelty free, but I'm not 100%. Then we have from Trey Chic the mini eyeshadow crayon in Marimoto Pink Pearl. So this is the packaging. And it says pink pearl, but this definitely looks more like a beige. But let's open it and give it a whirl. Oh yeah. I would not call it pink pearl at all. This is more of like a champagne tinged beige. It's very beautiful. It's a lovely color, but not name appropriate. 
So actually, I don't hate that. I'm going to put this in the cool category too. Next item is the Be Fine Food Skin Care Cucumber Facial Mask with Cucumber. And you get a whole ounce of this, which is pretty decent. Doesn't say anything about being cruelty free, but um, I can always look that up online. It's paraben free, allergen free, fragrance free. So that's cool that it doesn't have all those other things in it. Uh, but I definitely want to look up the ingredients, and I also would like to know if it's cruelty free. I'm still going to use it, whether it is or not. But just so in my uh, empties video, I can let you guys know. So I'm going to put that in the way to go category too. So far this Ipsy bag is not turning out so bad. Last thing we have is from It Cosmetics, which is, you know, a pretty popular brand. And I do believe they're cruelty free. And it is the number one best selling universal eyebrow pencil. The Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. So, universal means, well, it usually means for people who are white but not too white, and brunette but not too brunette, or too blonde. So, just looking at this, off the just initial impression, it's small, which is nice, but this shit is dark. I do not see this matching my eyebrows at all. Oh, no. Hell no. That is so dark. Yeah, I would look insane if I put that on my eyebrows. There's nothing universal about this. So I'm really just going to have to give this to a friend with darker hair. Because that would look crazy on me. That's so dark. Like, so dark. There's no way that would work on my eyebrows. So, this, while it is such a cool product that I really wish I could use it, this is going to be a disappointment because there's nothing universal about this color at all. Nothing universal about that. That is dark as hell and that would look insane on me. So, I guess if we're just talking about the products and not that hideous bag, Ipsy was pretty good this month. It's a great month to go out on. A face mask, an eyeshadow pencil that is a gorgeous color, this lip cream that's the consistency of other lip cream stain products that I've tried before and really liked, and the Smashbox uh, primer, which while it's not revolutionary or new, and it's been in like every subscription box ever, I know I will use it, so that's cool. So four versus one, not bad. I think this was a pretty good Ipsy bag to go out on, and then I did get that free um, points cash-in product too, so I'm pretty pleased with my last ever Ipsy bag. I think it definitely went well. What do you guys think? If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stick around for more videos from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!